Hi guys, um, today we will be looking at doing port forwarding or destination network address translation on Mikrotik Router OS. Um, before we start, we just need to look at what exactly is destination network address translation or port forwarding. Um, port forwarding is forwarding traffic from your router to a device on your local network. Um, you'd use this if you have a device that you want to access remotely. This could be if you've got um, a web server running your own My Little Pony fan site or um, perhaps you've got a DVR for video recording that you want to access remotely or something such as a multimedia server. So when we look at destination NAT, um, we're talking about rewriting the packet header of um, an IP4 packet, um, which is specifically when, when you do port forwarding, you're looking at the destination IP address that's written into the IP4 header and you're changing it. Um, you might be familiar on the normal um, consumer class cable or ADSL router. It's got a port forwarding um, screen where you enter the details for the local device on your network. With a Mikrotik, it looks a little bit different. Okay, let's take a look at what happens when somebody tries to access the website that you are hosting on your web server. They will first of all need to know your public IP address. You may be able to use something such as DNS to assign a host name that changes as your IP address changes, or your ISP might provide you with a static public IP address. Um, so when the person tries to access your website, the request will come from their computer through your internet service provider and land up on your Mikrotik router board. Um, normally they would land on port 80 since this is the default port for HTTP traffic. Your router board will then need to change the destination um, address of the request so that it gets forwarded to your web server. So your Mikrotik uh, will actually inspect the packet, change the destination IP address and then pass that traffic along to the internal IP address specified. In this case it's going to be 10.12.12.100 and still on port 80. Okay, so here we've got my own home router already set up and configured with an internet connection. As you can see, it's got my PPoE connection already configured. The first thing that we need to make sure is that there aren't any services already running on port 80 on this device. So let's go to IP services and you'll see that I've changed the www port to port 81. Um, as a side note, it's generally not a good idea to run the web server publicly available for this device because it could expose you to some security risks. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to go to the IP file, which is on the Mikrotik where you configure port forwarding or NAT connections. So here you can see that um, I'm already on the NAT tab. And what I need to do is I need to add a new NAT um, rule. So when I open it, it's already on the action tab, but let's move to the general tab to start out with. Um, have a look at the chain that it's in. At the moment, is it, it's in source NAT. Um, because we are changing the destination IP, you need to change this to DST NAT. And um, because most people will have a dynamically assigned public IP address, we will not be setting the destination address. Rather, we'll, setting, we'll be setting the input interface which we will select the triple POE interface. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to configure which port is actually being forwarded. So in this case, we're going to look at the protocol TCP. The port that we're going to be forwarding is port 80. And that's pretty much it for this window. Um, as you can see, it depends on what service you're trying to access behind the file or behind the router. In this case, it's a port 80 web server. So it's TCP and port 80. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take a look at the action tab and the action we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a destination network address translation or DST NAT. This will then give us the option to enter the IP address. In my case, the server is running on 10.12.12.100 and the port will be port 80. Okay. And there you have it. That's pretty much it to set up a destination NAT or a port forward on a Mikrotik router board. Thank you very much for um, checking out the video and please subscribe if you need any more help with Mikrotiks.